Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to do a cool glitch slash sort of, I don't know, break in the film sort of look. And what I'm talking about is right here. You can see um, if you added like sort of a sound to it, it looks like, you know, a memory that's corrupting or something along those lines. And what I really remember this from is just a lot of different games and digital themed media had sort of these breaks in flashbacks and stuff. And the one that kind of comes to mind is in Kingdom Hearts, you can kind of see it right here, how it does the glitches in between the memories. And so you can create your own sort of glitches with this effect. And it's really, really simple to do. All it takes is this wave warp effect right here. So let's just go through the process really quickly. Before I begin, this is in the effects part of Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Um, this is the normal one, what uh, normal editing looks like. This is where it usually defaults to. Just click on the effects tab up here and it'll bring it right over here. This isn't you know mandatory for the fact that all you can always go to window or even in editing. Um, go and just search your effects down in the bottom left, but this just makes it a little bit easier. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new adjustment layer. So we're going to go into file, new, and then down here to adjustment layer. We're just going to click OK right here. And so now we have an adjustment layer. And what this is, is just a blank piece of film that you can apply effects to, and it's going to apply to everything beneath it. So we're going to go ahead and make it just a little bit before this transition. All we have is three, uh, two pieces of footage and then one cut in between here. And this one, I just had an opacity um, change from 100 down to zero right here, which is really, really simple. You just click on this, go to the opacity, click the stopwatch, drag it to where you want it to end, and then bring it down to zero. So it's going to start off at 100, or actually, I dragged it down to zero for right here, moved it forward a little bit and then dragged it back up to 100 and it makes that nice little transition for you. So let's click on our adjustment layer right here and this is the effects for the adjustment layer. And we are just gonna go into the wave effects up here and search wave warp or just go to video effects and under distort you'll find it. Click it and drag it right onto your adjustment layer. And as you'll see, you already have this calculus wave going in there, the sine wave, you know, one, negative one, all that horrible, horrible time. Um, but the sine wave isn't exactly what I want for this effect. We want something a little bit more noisy. And for that, we're going to use noise. And so what you do with this is here are the effects. And this is what's really, really neat is that you can actually just sort of adjust this and make it your own. So if we go wave height, you'll see it's like almost tearing the image apart. So if we like put a cool angle at this and then do wave height, it looks like it's disintegrating and the pixels are falling apart in 3D space. And then you know, they all kind of come back together. What I did for this was I just made the wave height just about there. And then the wave width just a little bit longer so the, the breaks are stronger in it. And then that is really about it. So now you can just see it kind of cuts in between just like that. And so now the adjustment layer is the transition effect. If you want to make it just a little bit shorter, which I think it needs to be just a tad bit shorter. Actually, no, this, this is actually pretty good. So yeah, you have that sort of effect there. And now let's say you wanted to add a second one to the end like I had it. Really, really simple. Just click, click Control C and then Control V to duplicate it. And then just drag in your new one. And you have an instantaneous flash uh, back, back, I guess you could say, because this is the first flashback. So you know, you have a piece of footage that's just going and you can insert this like quick memory and then it comes right back. And you can, you know, every effect you could do this. You could do this for vlogs. You could do this for, you know, a uh, narrative-driven story. It's a really neat effect. And what I did to really just kind of put the icing on the cake was I just went in here and I went down into video effects. And then I went over here to color correction. And I just grabbed the color balance and threw it onto the first one and made the saturation minus 100 just to make it black and white. And just the first one goes black and white, then it cuts back normally. Kind of just sells the effect. And of course, you know, you can add like sound effects to it, the uh, the ch -ch sound in between, really, really sell the effect and it can be really neat and a really interesting transition to add to your film. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, just a little quick transition to learn. If you want to see more Adobe related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you've got any questions, comments, or ideas for more tutorials that you want me to do, leave those in the comments below. And until next time, guys, see ya.